96. Uh, what's left of it dropped a nose about five inches. Something bad's happened during a race here, so I tried to fix it. The problems, all the things on this. Intake's on backwards. It's gonna get a blower on it, so. You're definitely ready for this supercharger. Oh, yeah. Hey guys, we're over here at Mark Harrison's house. We're in Yucaipa, California. And we have Danny here. There's Danny. Hey. hey guys, there's Danny here. So this is Mark's build. This has been his baby for a couple years. He's like many of us. He's gotten addicted to this thing and he wants to make it just right. Well, we're gonna hop into this thing. Uh, Mark's gonna share with us um, some details about it. What year is this? Year, make, model, all that good stuff. Uh, it's a 96. Uh, what's left of it. It's basically just the, the cab and the uh, doors on it. Uh, it fireworks front end. Oh, so this is the fiberworks? Yeah, we kind of cut it up a little bit. We kind of dropped the nose about five inches. Why was that? So you can see over the hood better. Uh, when you're looking through here, the hood's right here. You cannot see, so you just drop the nose down. So your approach angle is a lot, a lot nicer. It's pretty good. You can see, it, it, and it looks just about right too. It looks good. Like it looks perfect. Like it's going with the body line. Yeah, before it seemed like it was sitting up a little bit. Now it's matched the body line. It slopes down. What what beams are you running on this thing? Uh, they're all hand fabricated beams from all from all places. So three. Put three plates on this thing. Did you build these, Danny? I helped him. Yeah. Oh, okay. There's, there's a lot of Danny in this thing all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit here and there. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, there's like I think three separate plates on those beams just to make them her yay wide. Done. Punched out the pins to inch and inch and a quarter. Uh, fabricated it up on, on spindles. With had to make own caps for it because they didn't to get dust cap one fit on anymore. Right on. Solid snouts, 2.5 bearings in there, bottom. Just double shear. I don't think I'm gonna break that off. A lot of the stuff, it might be a little bit overkill for this, but after doing it so the stuff so long, I roll out a little bit overkill, more, more heavier than yeah. light. Because you know what? Sometimes those those rain ruts come out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Sometimes those drop offs come out of nowhere, and uh, those those boulders will come out of nowhere on yeah. a trail. Yeah. yeah. And it's better safe than sorry, guys. So I, I think I think Mark and Danny are doing it right. Danny, what kind of steering uh, did you guys do on this? So did you do the steering on this? Mark built. Mark built the Mark steering. Mark built the steering. Basically, okay. all I did was some welding. Little things here and there. Yeah, I welded a bunch of the. I did the tie rods, and welded on the spindles, welded on the beams. But Mark had everything. Nice. With the, how the beams are set, they actually have the tie rod hack actually has to go up in between here. Oh to be, wow! To keep them straight, they had to have straight tie rods on them. Could have bent one of them. They either bend more or they straighten out. Yeah, they, they try to straighten out, and you come back from the pit, and they're bent out the other way. So that's the way to do it. Oh yeah. That's the way for strength. And also too, it's got pivot point right here and a pivot point right here. Okay. That way, it cannot bend the beam. Three plates of chromoly. I don't think it's going to bend, but it's. It's okay. And then your shock package, what are you, what are you running? Uh, 3.0s and 2.5s. Got mounts made for bigger ones down the road. But like I said, I want to get it running. I, if I keep upgrading, upgrading, I'll never get done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'll upgrade it later on, throw some 4 hose on there. And, uh, and those are some really nice headers. Danny, I made The them. header man? Yeah. Well, yeah, both I think that was like the second set. Yeah. Really? Came down here, yeah. We yeah. were bending them up. Like Mark worked on a side and I worked on a side. Yeah, I picked a side and we got to meet the length. You guys just went at it? Yeah. yeah. Well, it looks great, you guys. Yeah, it turned out really good. And it's so cool. Like, I, I always love how <laughs> headers are always so custom, you know, obviously to kind of like move through yeah. the, the engine cage and just the way you guys form everything. It just looks These have to be, have really to be cool. split right here and here. These comes off because how it wraps around all the tubing, mm -hmm. it comes off in two pieces and then that collector slides on and bolts back together again. Right on. So I guess, what, what are those headers connected to? What kind of motor are we working with on this thing, Mark? Well, this one's a 6.0 LS motor. Okay. Uh, it just has airflow research heads on it. Pretty big cam in it from uh, Crowler. Oh, so you're running AFR heads? Yeah. Oh, uh, nice. Crowler. Um, it's gonna get a supercharger put on it, but like I said, I need to get the thing running and then come back put it on. If not, it'll, it'll be sitting and sitting and sitting, so. So we got an LS1 with AFR heads on it. And uh, what was the, the cam you said? It's a Crowler cam. It should Crowler be, cam. I guess, probably like 650 horse, probably. That's just a wild guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's, that's plenty of power for a Ranger, man. I'll tell you that. It's gonna get more. I, I want a thousand out of it, so it'll, it'll get more. A thousand, Danny? 
Have you seen his Camaro? No, I haven't. So uh, I'm not, assuming it's, okay. not, out, it's, oh, not, he's written, it's not out of the question with this guy. Okay, so I just know that like he'll do it. In there. So obviously you're you're a, a hot rod guy. Yeah. Super cool. I seen you pulled out the the Ranger lights. You got you got these. Uh, this used to be all the way up here and all the way down here. Oh, okay. And it always looked kind of too big for the truck because it's a Ranger. Right. So my body guy, he actually cut this down, reglassed it, and fit it down smaller for there's two Baja design headlights to go in there. Oh, nice. So it, yeah. it, proportionally, you look at the front of the truck, it just kind of flows more with it. Yeah. I guess that's the hot rod to me coming out for yeah. desert racing, and we're, don't worry about that. <laughs> I, you know what? I couldn't agree more. It, that is definitely the hot rod guy. The desert yeah. racer guys are like, eh, this will work. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Just get yeah, it in here. Put two yeah. lights on, you're done. Yeah. Cool. So how much travel do you think you're going to have in the front of this uh, thing? It has a 19 on the front, and it has it strapped at 28 to the rear. Okay. It can go more than that, but it's just kind of gets kind of useless after that. So right. He's trapped at that light bar. It has an adjustable light bar with an activator in there. You hit a switch on the dash. Let's check this thing out. And it'll slide forward and slide back. We'll change. We'll change the lights. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then why? So why'd you do that? Well, every, it seems like every time I got in a race truck, turn the lights on, they're pointing up in there. And you uh, couldn't even see it. And, and then someone else, I think Brian's truck at one time, he threw a light bar on, and it's pointing at the hood. And so so we're trying to fix the light, so you know what, I'm going to fix that and make it so it's adjustable so I can just have to switch and move the light bar up and down. Yeah, you have 90 gallon fuel cell in the back. Uh, if it's full, the truck's going to sit like this. If it's empty, it's going to sit like that. The light's going to be changing. And Heck yeah. yeah. So so through your friend's racing experience, through your own racing experience, you're kind of making things a little more comfortable and, yeah. you know. Everything on this thing is, is something. Something bad's happened during a race, here, so I tried to fix it. The problems, all the things on this. It's like fuel system. Brian and I raced that one race. All the fuel system clogged up, so we're we're done. So this thing has two complete fuel systems on it: the right, left, and right and left. Nice. So I just switch a switch, switch to the other side, and so it gets fuel to the front. Oh, that's and that's now, just uh, upside awesome. down valves. Everything's on upside down now. The dipstick, the the filler, everything. You can be upside down, and no fluid leaks leaks out, leaks out of this truck. That comes out, and there's the dipstick. Uh, so it's sealed. It's so sealed. Like, this is not like when you flip over, if you're ever on your side, these dipsticks never seal. So okay. it's on a side, it's leaking fluid. Right. The fluid can leak on the exhaust and catch on fire. Right, it's all right here. Yeah. Yeah, right here's another one. For exactly. The, yeah. That's the engine oil. So engine oil is the same. Nice. So everything's sealed to that. If you do happen to roll over, you know, you're not leaking fluids everywhere. You're not losing the fluid either. Yeah. Right. That's a great investment, man. Yeah, again, man, you guys did such great work on this, Mark. It looks, it looks phenomenal. What, what uh, fire system? Uh, fuel safe. Fuel safe. Yes. Okay. It's got uh, pass power steering right there. Got a ram down there. Got the regular Howie box over there, and coolers are tucked underneath here. <laughs> I mean, look at this, this, this work right here too. Who did all this stuff? I did all. Nice. Again, this does look like hot rod stuff. <laughs> this is real nice. You don't see this often in uh, off-road. All the frames all been cut out, all been plated. Yeah. All the cross member, all that here is a little bit overkill on the cross members. <laughs> yeah, better reliable. Yeah. Very cool. Something that a lot of guys don't use, especially pre-runner guys, kind of lack in that. What's that? There's a scatter shield on the trans. Scatter shield on. Oh, you can't see it from here. It's really hard to see if it's a carbon fiber scatter shield down in there. Okay. Somewhere down there. Yeah. And why do you need that? The trans come apart. We've had, I mean, on drag cars, this is, I've had a couple come apart. I haven't had one come apart on a truck yet, but when they do, you tear the floor apart. You lose Just the floor. catapult. It'll, it'll, you lose your front toes. Off. You know what I mean? It's, it's dangerous. It goes off like a grenade. Yeah. Wow. So it's just an extra safety precaution that a lot of people kind of overlook. They huh? skip on it. You know what I mean? They just like, nah. I, I'm learning a lot from this right now, guys. I so, think these are some things that, you know, I should run in my truck. Intakes on backwards. People probably think, why is it on backwards? Like, well, it's going to get a blower on it, so oh. the snout, the area for the snout come down. So, so actually, the throttle body faces backward, comes through, and comes back around, and the air sits right across here. You're definitely ready for this supercharger. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, you're prepared for this. <laughs> awesome. That is the plan. Okay. Yes. Cool. Well, let's, uh, we could head on to the back. Man, you guys did such a cool job with these headers again. This is kind of the bling, you know, in a way of the, the truck, right? But yeah. it's really cool. Well, like I said, I did a lot of glass work. Okay. This is F100 taillights from my... <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I couldn't figure out. I wasn't going to put any taillights because it's going to be a racetrack, but then I, I, since I've run around the street, 
I just we cut those out and just go read the them and he's they seem like it fit in nice so I put them on. It looks cool. It's it's definitely a different look. Okay, a 69 F100. 69 F100. Quick filling. Ooh, nice. Extra dry shaft, extra tie rod, uh, 45 gallon fuel cell, upside down valves, has two dual takeoffs on both sides. Nice. Um, and then what kind of fuel cell is that? Is it a fuel safe or? Uh, yeah. You guys built safe, it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, we built a can. Okay. And just got the, the bladder. Bladder for it, yeah. Okay. Because awesome. actually, when you drop it out, it drops out at the bottom. So the X, X member has to unbolt and there, it drops out the bottom. Mm. Put it back up. What size is that fuel cell? 45 gallons. 45? Yeah. All right. It's got plenty of storage. It's got here, the tire fits on here. Looks okay. really nice. It comes out. It's oh, still, cool. still another box that has to go in here and down here, but that carries the jack and everything else in here. Oh, cool. I keep thinking maybe I should put area for two tires because a lot of times when I'm chasing people, I mean, I need to carry some tires. You're taking their spare too, right? Yeah, so mm, I'll see. You know what? Sometimes when it, when that happens, you just double stack them. Oh, yeah, what, exactly. what size? What size are you running? Uh, thirty nines. Oh, okay, yeah. So you'll you'll you have space. And then look at these beautiful things. You're running the methods of the BFG old yeah. school Baja TAs. Yeah, we put them on a mill and notch them out for the lead sixteen studs. Oh, okay. That's why that built the hubs to be hub centric to that. This is such a, an odd, I, you know what, Mark, you got to tell us when you're going to go run this thing. Okay. If you're going to go cruise, even if you're going to cruise <laughs> it down the street, you call me, man, and I'll, okay. I'll we'll, we'll come down just to hear that. I love the black, black wheel combo too. It gives me a very Stormtrooper vibe, you know? <laughs> it gives me the Star Wars Stormtrooper vibe, man. I like, I like that. That just might have to be a, a name or something. What do you guys think Mark should name this? Comment below. Oh, um, but cool. And then, so tell us about the, the rear end setup. Yeah, the cone, it started out as a cone rear end. Okay. We ended up cutting apart and tubing it. 250 wall tubing in it, chromoly, 40, 40 spline axles. Didn't like the outside hubs, so I just built my own hubs for it. You don't really hear that too often. It'll eventually get a bigger rear end in it. All right, no, that's I, I cool. Need to, I need to get it running first. Like I, I like this. So, so I keep hearing you say you got to get it running first, Mark. Dare I ask how long this thing has been down? <laughs> He's gonna start laughing. Or no. <laughs> Uh, are, are, are we in the same club, Mark? About 10 years, probably. We're in the same club, yeah. dude. We're good. Yeah. Mark, it's all good. It's, it tra it tra Calm down, haters, okay? We got to do this right. <laughs> this is how we do this. Right, Mark? Mark, yeah. right here. This is what's up. Yeah. We're, we're doing it right, pals, okay? <laughs> no, Mark, that's that's cool, man. So we're looking at 10 years. I think before we even go any farther, what what are we looking for to get this thing done? What needs to be done with this now? Wiring. 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 I'm down to wiring. That's yeah. it. I, I, it's already plumbed. I got all the plumbing all done. I just have to rehang it on here and then wire it. Plumbing, wiring, yeah. basic yeah. things like the windows. That's going to be nothing. There, are, it has electric windows. They're already in. The glass is already to be just pop, pop back in. I have put it in because doing the wiring and doing all that stuff. I'll put it in the very last. Are you intimidated to take that next step? Or are you ready for this? Well, I'm ready for it. You're ready for yeah. it? Yeah. Hey, how are how are all the Ukaipa dudes about this thing? Everybody I'm pretty pumped. To take it out and scratch it. Is that what it is? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> my painter, my painter over here, he paint, he paint, actually painted it too nice. Cause I tell him just put color on it. Yeah. And he, my friend Mark over here, he does custom hot rods. He's thirty thousand dollar paint jobs. And oh my god. He sprayed this thing, and I'm like, it almost looks too nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I mean. It's too pretty. I'm loving the way all this up travel is right here too. So ride height. It's the ride heights on it. Price it's about you have the bump stops right there. Okay. It's about another foot up. Now it's it's all the way drooped all the way down right now. Yeah. And then you kept the a lot of the stock frame up there. Yeah. I, up until here. Up until that 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 cut. Right. Yeah. Oh, thanks. This looks so great. All this work right here. I painted it gray just from an old man who used to work for Walker Evans way back in the day, and that's what all the race trucks used to be gray frame. I love it. So I love that's it. Why you got great frame. That's so cool. It, it gives me that the Robbie Gordon. I know Robbie Gordon used to have that. Yeah. All right, man. Let's let's go through this. I'll I'll hop on that side and I'll. So you uh, powder coated everything? No, uh, this is all paint. Oh, this is all paint. This is okay. All paint. Yeah, it's just shot on the gun with a sealer in it, and yeah. not, nothing's powder coated. Everything on the, all the black is just basically flat black, so that way I can touch it up if I have to weld on it and do something else. Okay. So I know it's gonna get scratched. So but everything the cab's all sealed, so you look at all the floor. Dang. Man. Everywhere. Yeah. Um, 
I mean, I got boots on there then for the throttles, all of there, so it's seal sealed. Nice. Put in a cage in to try to keep some of the stock panels on way, it's way back when. Okay. And then you just start chasing and chasing, and then just get more and more panels. And next thing I know, the whole thing's aluminum. Oh my God, it looks so good. Um, and they all panel here to hide all the wires and all the cable and everything else. So once the seat's in, you, this is what you can see. Just there's, yeah. there's no wires, nothing, nothing to trip over or anything else. And then we got a carbon fiber right here. Yeah. And then he's got the intercom goes right here. Okay. Push to talk on both sides. All those are all light switches, GPS. Uh, radio. Yep. And then the two most important gauges is right here, water temperature and my trans temperature. So the portion valve right here is for adjusting the brake. The fire fire system goes right here. Okay. Uh, it actually has electric window switches right here. These are the nice. fuel, fuel and the fans to turn on. ECM's underneath over there. It's not mounted right now, but it's just on a drop thing. You just drop it out. You drop it and put another one in. Okay. These side panels come off, and all the fuses are behind on bus this side, this side. So a lot it. of this stuff is pretty much ready to go for the for the wiring guy. Right, it is. Yeah, I'm gonna. All the tabs are already run. Yeah. All the grommets, everything where it should be is there. So I'll start laying out. I, I do my own wiring, so I'll start laying. So you're line. gonna do it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. I do, I do so we're waiting on you, Mark. Yeah, oh, yeah. All right, exactly. man. Let's do this. <laughs> Dude, I'll buy the pizza. I'll come over. I'll be your motivational. <laughs> okay. I'll be your motivator, man. <laughs> We got me and Danny will be right here. Okay. We'll bring some food. Yeah. We'll make it a Saturday night. I mean, I can't, I can't do anything, but I could help. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. man, very cool, Mark. Thank you so much for taking the time to uh, share this this right, beautiful project with us. I mean, you guys, the detail in this thing, Mark. As soon as this is ready to go, again, we'd love to have it at our booth at like the Off Road Expo. Okay. Yeah, love it. Says nothing that high tech. It's just yeah, the old school. Class 8 truck kind of stuff. That's kind of what I wanted. Oh, it's great. So. I, it's great, man. Uh, it's full, like full plate. skid plates, too. Oh, underneath? It's not it's on there right it's on Oh, it's on underneath? Okay. No. Yeah. Nothing's on underneath. It's all yeah. tubed. Oh, it's all... It, it captures oh. here and goes all the way. All and then back. cross braces and captures here. Nice. And I think it even ties in here in the middle. That's yeah. what these bolt holes are for, yep. if I remember right. Yep. Nice. But like, it's like one of the things that like 1400 guys just like write it off. Like, man, I don't need no skid plate. Yeah. My truck don't even have a skid plate on it. Yeah. No, it should. One yeah. rock will shatter this cast pan. You know, yeah. That's all it takes. Yep. So, you know, have a skid plate protected, you won't have that problem. Did you push the trans and motor back a little bit or heighten it or? Uh, it's back 12 inches. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely looks back it. Quite a ways. And also, it built, the trans tunnel is rather large so you can get your hands completely around the bell housing to get okay. wrenches in there. And with, with this, it's all sawed out though. All, this piece removable is that the trans can get dropped out in like 15 minutes. So That's convenient. A lot of guys run these at the center, which they supposedly better, but you can't get the trans out of the truck. That's another reason I put the exhaust on the outside, is to be able to service everything underneath the truck. Right. So Very thoughtful thinking, forward thinking for this thing. Very simple, but it works. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys have any questions for us or for Mark, we'll send them to him. Tell Mark to finish this thing, guys. Comment <laughs> below. We're right there. If you guys want to see us there with Mark when he takes this thing on its uh, maiden voyage, uh, comment below. Let us know. Um, and uh, in, Mark needs some encouragement, guys. He's almost there with the electrical. We're really pumped to see him finish this. Um, if you guys like our content, please share this video. If you guys are building a ranger or have some ranger goals, this is the video to share with your friends that are building something. So thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and all that good stuff. And we'll see you around later. Bye.